Hello YouTube chess lovers my friends this is Gunjan here welcome to the brand new dirty chess trick series against Sicilian in this lecture I'm going to show you some of the amazing and wonderful tricks against Sicilian dragon variation which arises after the move order e4 c5 knight to f3 d6 and in the first trick we are going to see the open variation that is d4 c captures d4 knight captures d4 knight to f6 attacking e4 and when white defended with the move knight to c3 the trademark dragon move that is g6 so idea is very simple black wants to play the move bishop to g7 castle on the king side and then start attacking white on the queen side well it sounds all good except white has this amazing move that is f4 which completely stop bishop to g7 now let's see what happens if black plays the move bishop to g7 which is a case of many dragon player as they will churn out this move automatically here is the answer white has this amazing stunner that is e5 bam the further continuation is d captures e5 and after f captures e5 most of the dragon players has tried these three locations for the knight but all miserably fail. Let's look at each by turn. If black plays the move knight to g4, then after just one move, that is bishop to b5 check, black can pack his bag and go home. <laughs> the first obvious response which black cannot play, that is knight to c6, because after knight captures and pawn captures and bishop captures, at least white will gain an exchange in this variation so that is not playable if black block the check with either bishop or the knight so let's say bishop to d7 then the news is even worse because now white can simply become a piece of after queen captures g4 the worst of all is if black try to run away from the check with the king that is king to f8 then after knight to e6 Yup, the queen is a goner. So we can easily conclude this that knight to g4 is an unplayable move. The second move I want to consider is the move knight to d7. But after this, white can play the move e6, attacking the knight. And please note, black cannot capture the e6 pawn because black lose the bishop. So here, most of the cases dragon player has tried the move knight to f6 but after further continuation that is e captures f7 king captures f7 and bishop to c4 once again king cannot go to the f8 square because of the knight to e6 check the accurate defense is to play the move e6 and i have reached this position in few of my games and i like to show you one of my quick wins in this line so here I continue with the move castle on the king side. My opponent responded with the move rook to d8. So his idea is to do an artificial castle. I responded with the move bishop to g5, pinning the knight. And finally, he evacuate his king with the move king to g8. Yes, black has achieved the artificial castle, but for the cost of a very bad position, which occurs after the move knight to e4. Look at that pathetic knight on f6. It is attacked by three of the white pieces and the only good way to keep him alive is to play the move knight b to d7. But after this move, the e6 square becomes severely weak and exploit that magnificently in the game. Here I continue with the move knight to d6 attacking the rook and after rook to e7, finally I grab the e6 pawn with my knight. Black has the only good response left that is queen check and after king to h1 black has to do something about this discovered check which my opponent did by playing the move king to h8 and now it's just a matter of technique. After a few calculation I first of all destroy the defender of the king which is knight captures g7 and after king captures g7 I continue with the move queen to d2. 
So there are some tricks based on bishop to h6. My opponent immediately evacuated his king with the move king to h8, but actually it turns out that this is a big mistake. Before I show you my next move, I want you to pause the video and find out the best move for the white. I hope you find this move that is queen to c3. This move confirms the white victory. There are three pieces attacking the f6 knight which cannot be protected further. Here my opponent find nothing better than capturing the knight on d6 but after rook captures f6 my opponent press the resign button. So you can see the game can finish very very quickly. The third move I want to consider is the move knight to d5. Well after this move once again what is going to give this check with the bishop and this time around black cannot put any pieces in between. The only move left is king to f8. So it's already an achievement by misplacing black queen. However white has amazing attacking ideas. To illustrate this once again I like to show you one of my own quick game. Here I continue with the castle. So now I'm threatening the move e6. So my opponent played e6 himself. I further continue with my peace development that is queen to f3 and same time creating a mating threat which luckily my opponent spotted. So he played the move queen to c7 and now I played a very tricky move that is bishop to g5. Which at first sight looks doing nothing on g5 but my opponent's next move that is knight to c6 which is a double question mark move. I want you to pause the video and find out the finishing blow. Okay, I hope you find this move that is knight capture c6, pawn captures and now the trick which my opponent missed is bishop to d8. Bam! Unfortunately, black cannot capture the bishop because there's a mate on f7, so queen has to stay on the 7th rank. My opponent responded with the move queen to b7, but after bishop captures c6, there is no escape. So these are some of the wonderful tricks against open variation of dragon. Please remember this f4 move which will serve you very very well. Now there's another good trick in the dragon which start at this point with the move order b3. The usual response of the dragon player is to play the move knight to f6 attacking e4 but this time around white can play this move e5. D captures e5 and knight captures e5, it looks like white has done a blunder because if you carefully look at this position, right now both knight and rook are hanging and if black wants, black can play this move that is queen to d4. At first sight, it looks like black is winning but believe it or not, this is exactly white wants. Here white will continue with the move bishop to b5 check. And the main move is knight b to d7. If black responded with the move bishop to d7, then the simplest is knight captures bishop. And after queen captures rook, knight captures f6. White has two pieces for a rook. And if you check out this position with the computer, it will definitely give a great advantage to the white. So that's why this is not possible. So the main move is knight b to d7. Afterwards, it doesn't look like white has any trick left. But here comes another stunner, that is knight to c4. So what's the idea? Well, idea is very simple. What white wants to do is to capture the knight on d7 with a check. And when black recapture, white can play the move knight to c3 and come out from the all threat. So if black wants the piece, then he has to take it right now. So the obvious move we want to consider is what happens after queen captures a1. Well, this is a case where we invite a case to smack him off. 
<laughs> yes, true. Here, white will continue with the move bishop to b2, attacking the queen. And after the only reply that is queen captures a2, white is simply going to play the move bishop captures f6. No matter how black recapture, let's say e captures f6, knight to c3, and bye bye, Miss Queen. So please watch out this amazing queen trap in Sicilian Dragon B edition. I hope you enjoy and learn this amazing tricks in Sicilian Dragon B edition. Please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment on my video. And I'll meet you in my next episode. Bye.